Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we'll be talking about the problem count anagrams of bi-weekly contest 94. Okay, so this problem requires totally concept of mathematics, permutations and combinations. Okay, so if you are well aware about the binary exponentiation factorials, how to compute the inverse using format little's theorem, then it will it is very good for you. Otherwise, uh, you need not to worry about. I'm just providing the uh, binary exponentiation tutorial in the description section of the video. So if you are unaware about the concept, how to compute the inverse binary exponentiation and all, you can check out that binary exponentiation tutorial. I have just added the link over here. Okay. So let's try to understand this problem. You are given a string S that contains one or more words and every consecutive pair of words is separated by a single space. A string t is an anagram of string s if the ith word of t is a permutation of the ith word of s. Okay, so you have to return the number of distinct anagrams of s, and the answer is going to be very large. You have to uh, return it modulo 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7. Okay, so let's try to understand this problem first. You have this string, uh, you have the string uh, as uh, string s that contains uh, words. Okay. So you can say this is a particular word. We have this another word and the words are separated by a single space. Okay. Now uh, you can see uh, if you have two strings, let's say string T. Okay. Suppose it, it has also some of the words. Okay. So a string S and a string T are anagrams of each other only and only when the ith word of T is a permutation of ith word of S. Like actually uh, both the words, these two words are also anagrams. Okay, this word should also be the anagrams. Okay, then only you can say S and T are anagrams with respect to each other. Okay, now uh, what we act, we are uh, supposed to find is the number of distinct anagrams of S. Distinct anagrams of S. Okay, so you can see you need to find the distinct anagrams of S. So let's try to work for the uh, only one word first okay suppose we have this one word and the word is something like this let's take an example let's say abc okay so what are the distinct anagrams of s okay so you can see uh, there are a lot of permutations that are possible for this string abc since its length is three you can see and there are no distinct characters you can see the number of possible permutation of its character is three factorial which is coming out to be six so the possible permutations are acb uh, it should it can be something like this BAC, BCA, CAB and CBA. So you can see these uh, possible strings are actually permutations of the original strings and actually they are anagrams with respect to each other because uh, if you uh, check out the anagram condition it will be satisfied. So the total number of anagrams is coming out to be 6. Okay. Now uh, what are the possible distinct anagrams? Now this is a uh, different concept so if you talk about the distinct anagrams still the answer for this is coming out to be six okay uh, this is because the, all the characters are going to be distinct so let's take another example as it is something like this a a b okay so uh, let's uh, find out the same logic with the same logic if the character is of type a b c there are six possible permutations uh, like six possible permutations if you look out for the character a b and if you draw in the same way the six possible permutations you will get something like this a b a b a then you'd be having a a b a b a then you'd be having b a a then b a a again there are six possible permutations okay but there are some uh, of the strings that are actually same and we don't have to count that strings okay so since we need to account for the distinct anagrams, so we'll pick out the distinct strings. So, so we have this A, B, we have this A, B, A and uh, this A, B will not be counted because it has already been counted over ever. We have this A, B, A and we have this B, A, A. Okay. So the number of distinct strings is going to be three. Okay. So how do you compute this value? Suppose, uh, we have some characters of A, some characters of BBB, some characters of CCC and let's say X, Y and Z represent their count of such characters. Okay, 
so how we'll do is we'll just write down n factorial where n is going to be the length of the string divided by x factorial y factorial z factorial and so on where x y z is the frequency of the character a character b character c and so on there can be 26 uh, letters okay so we need to check out for the each frequencies so what about this one you can see 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial it is coming out to be 3 that's why answer is coming out to be 3 okay so let's uh, look out for one more example suppose we, we have the string something like this a triple b and triple c 4 times c so what we will do is we will just try to find out the length of the string it is coming out to be 4 3 7 2 9 so your uh, number of distinct string is coming out to be 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 4 factorial so this is going to be number of distinct strings and each string is going to be uh, anagrams with respect to each other so they are actually called distinct anagrams anagrams okay so what you have to do is uh, you have to just check out for the string s which contains words like a lot of words okay so let's find out the number of distinct strings for this one which are anagrams with respect to each other let's say the value is let's say w1 and for this one let's say the value is w2 and let's say the value for this is w3 and so on so what is your answer your answer is nothing but w1 uh, multiplied by w2 multiplied by w3 and it goes on for all the words let's say that there are m words in the string okay so your answer is w1 w2 w3 up to wf and you if you are willing to calculate wi which is a uh, uh, number of distinct strings that you can have for the current word then you are you have to do nothing you have to just find out the length of word and you have to just uh, perform the factorial of the length of the word divided by you know frequency of a uh, factorial similarly frequency of b factorial and so on you have to do like frequency of c factorial okay and here you go for the value wi so and that will give you the number of distinct anagrams with respect to each other and uh, since you need to find the distinct uh, anagrams for the string s you need to multiply each of the distinct anagrams you you uh, you have got for w1 w2 w3 and so on okay so that will be your answer so how do we calculate the factorials for such large number including the modulo operation you have to just pre compute the factorials and similarly uh, you need to just uh, pre compute the factorials and you need to perform the inverse also for that you need you can you need to check out the binary exponentiation tutorial how we are just going to do that efficiently okay so uh, you need to just multiply these all things then you need to take the inverse then you need to multiply with the length of the word factorial and also your answer is going to be this one okay so let's look out the code how this can be efficiently done okay so uh, this entire thing let me just zoom in is going to be this uh, binary exponentiation part okay you have this uh, binary power function which computes the a power b in uh, max of in some logarithmic time okay and we have this inverse which computes the inverse of a number using format little theorem now uh, we have this get distinct ways function which uh, computes the distinct strings for each word okay so uh, we have the factorial uh, vector also which uh, is uh, going to store the factorials for each integer like it is uh, it is the part of the pre-calculation so first we'll try to find out the frequency then uh, n is going to be the word length we will store answer as factorial of n which is nothing but n factorial you can see length of the word and you have to iterate for each uh, distinct character and if the their frequency is a positive number you have to multiply it with the inverse of that factorial remember that factorial of a you need to first calculate then you need to take the inverse and you need to multiply with the answer which is initialized with n factorial okay and you have to do that for each distinct character frequency and you have to just return the answer this is for the one word and you have to do that for each word okay so uh, yeah so you can see this part is going to be nothing but you are, you are just extracting the word and you are just uh, multiplying with the answers okay uh, which is something like this w1 into w2 into w3 and so on 
okay so whenever you will encounter space character uh, you have just uh, you have the previous word in this word string so you will just multiply with answer into get distinct ways word into factorial and you take it with modulus also i got two wrong answers because of this modulus and you need to clear this word also to account for the new word and finally yeah you have to do that also because if the word is not empty word string is not not empty it means that the last uh, word of the sentence is still needs to be calculated so you have to do that also and finally you need to return the answer remember that you need to pre compute the factorials also okay so and you need to store it into a vector so this approach is going to uh, take some n uh, n is going to be the length of the string multiplied by like you need to check out for the frequencies and you need to compute the inverse also so uh, overall it won't take a lot of time because we have some factors like if you have already calculated pre calculated the factorials also and whenever you are trying to calculate a power b a is going to be uh, this value n and uh, this value n is uh, coming out to be either uh, inverse into factorial of count okay so factorial of count is is going to be some value between a uh, 10 raised to the power uh, 9 plus 7 yeah so it uh, computes n into some factor that will come out to be in the time complexity and the space complexity in will come out to be uh, o of n so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video